Hi, Zane Griggs coming to you from PhysioFit in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I want to show you a reverse crunch. So for a reverse crunch, you're going to want a bench or find a spot on the floor where you can anchor yourself to like a piece of furniture, like a, like a couch or something behind you. Where it's going to be stable, it's not going to go anywhere. You want to start with your legs up, they don't need to be perfectly straight. Okay, so just legs up, stable, flat surface here so that you're not going anywhere, you're not risking really falling off. And you're going to curl up and come back down, controlled movement both directions, but just come down enough that your waistband touches the bench, and then you curl right back up. And what we don't want is gravity doing this, boom, and you go up and drop, and up and drop. Now, if that's where you are now, just because you can't control it, okay, that's where you are now, but we're working towards control. So you'll work towards controlling it both directions with your waistband just touching down and then curling back up. You don't need to curl up to your, you know, you're about ready to do a backward somersault. That's kind of silly. We don't want to risk, you know, rolling off. We don't want to risk injury. Just enough to control. Feel that tension and control the movement there as you curl the spine up and back down. And that's a reverse crunch. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out at zangriggs.com. Talk to you later.